How you doing? Welcome to my indoor hydro garden. Uh, this is a room that I constructed in the basement of my home. I live in Michigan. It's cold. It's the middle of winter. I can't grow any vegetables outside, so I put together this room. I got two HID lamps running, um, which I'll get into later. Um, but what you see behind me here is a beautiful specimen. It's a cucumber plant. In fact, more specifically, it's Livingston Seed. It's a Boston pickling plant. Well, maybe it isn't any it's so beautiful after all. Well, considering that this plant is already four months old and it's already lived out pretty much its life cycle. So, let me show you some pictures of how it's grown from beginning until this point right now. Welcome back. So as you can see, this plant grows pretty quick. Um, I think the maturity on the seed pack, I said something like 55 days, uh, which is typically the time it takes to get pickles. I got pickles around 36 days into this. And that's the beauty of growing hydroponically. It'll grow a whole lot faster. So um, that's one benefit. So as I look at my notes of stuff I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about media, fertilizer, light, maintenance of the plant, and production. So, I see a lot of YouTube videos of people growing hydroponically, and you get snippets of things. You get updates and snippets, and you don't get everything all in one package. So hopefully, we can go over this uh, from start to finish. Um, so you've seen the growth of the plant through some pictures. What did I use for media? I used coconut core. Coconut core is a good media. It's ground up coconut husk. Um, buy the good stuff. Uh, I used a brand called Psycho, C-Y-C-O. Uh, good drainage. Holds moisture really well. Why not? Secondly, I used fertilizer. I used the Botanicare series. I used the Bloom for Cocoa. The grow for cocoa and I also added a Calmeg supplement. How did I use them? I put, I grew or I went um, 10 milliliters for each gallon, didn't matter if it was the pro or uh, the, the grow or the bloom. So if you go by the recommended instructions on this thing, you're gonna go through um, nutrients like crazy. So I scaled it down and the plant grew just fine. Um, so I would go just 10 milliliters per gallon. I did six weeks of the grow and since then I've been on the bloom. Every time I fertilize these things I put three milliliters of the Calmag in with it. Um, it people say that the coconut core leaches uh, calcium um, out, of, out of it so you constantly have to keep replenishing it um, every time you water. So. From the start until now, these things have been hit with CalMag every time. So, in terms of light, I got two. I got a directly over me, probably shining my big bald head on your face, is a 400 watt metal halide bulb. To my right is a 400 watt um, sodium bulb, which pr produces a, a red hue. Uh, it's supposed to indicate. Uh, the later part of summer, I guess, is supposed to mimic that. Um, 
So that's what it does. Uh, I, for the first six weeks, I ran both these bulbs at 18 hours a day. Uh, the second, uh, it, ever since then, I've been running them 12 on, 12 off. Um, so the plants are responding. Uh, my electric bill uh, is not responding as kindly as, as the plants here. So maintenance, what did I do? What I did was I grew these things up a string. They're eight feet tall right now. Once they hit the ceiling, I chopped uh, the top off of them. That will stop it from growing vertical. Uh, some side shoots came out. What these are right here are just side shoots off the main stem, and they will continue to produce, but I'm going to chop this plant down tonight because um, I'm going to make room for some tomatoes against this wall. Um, in terms of maintenance and additional maintenance, you have to water and fertilize every day. That's a drag. Okay. Um, the next thing you have to do is you have to uh, manually pollinate these things. I don't have bees and, and moths and butterflies and insects in here. So um, what you have to do is you have to find a male flower. You have to find the female flower with the little pickle on it. You take yourself a paintbrush and you take pollen from the male. Insert it into the female, right? And then uh, you'll get yourself a pickle. All right, so that's pretty much the maintenance on this thing. This, this is what they call, I guess, a non-parthenocopic uh, plant, which means it requires hand pollination or, and or insects to pollinate. Parthenocopic uh, varieties do not, and I'm growing some over here, which you cannot see. I'm going to do a separate video on those, and these are so much easier to maintain. Another problem with this type of plant, this Boston Pickler plant, or any, I guess, cucumber plant that you need, uh, that, that needs hand pollination, it grows hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of male flowers. Way more male flowers than female flowers. And when these things dry up, they fall to the ground, and it's a constant cleaning up process over these things. So that, that's a drag, too. I guess what I'm saying is, is I probably would not grow a Boston Pickler inside the house again. Even though it was fun to grow, it's, it's, I'm over it. I'm done. Like, like, I'm done hand pollinating. I'm done with all that. So, what did I get for production out of this thing? I, well, I just picked these two, and that makes pickle 51 and 52. I haven't weighed these, but this should put me over the 7 pound mark. These are pretty big pickles. These are the biggest ones that I grew. Um, I probably picked them... Um, I don't know, four or five days before this point, uh, the other 50. So, anyway, it produced well. It still will produce. I'm just going to tear it down. I'm done hand watering. I'm going to grow everything in deep water culture now. Um, I'm not going to run nutrient film stuff and with additional pumps and things like that because I've already got the expense of the lights. I got some expense of the air pumps that you can't see over here in my other deep water cultures. And uh, so cost per pickle is probably, I don't know, in, in American dollars, it's probably like thirty-seven fifty a pickle. I don't know, something crazy because of the cost of the lights. So um, I'm doing it for a hobby. It's fun. I've enjoyed it. I'm over this uh, species, and I'm going to grow some easier plants. Um, my next video, I'll probably do a bio on the Socrates pickle or Socrates Cucumber, excuse me, because they grow really big. And these, this thing right here is just loaded. I'm not even going to show it to you yet because it's crazy, all right? But this thing is loaded down, doesn't require hand pollination. Growing in deep water culture, way easier. Uh, it drinks about a gallon a day right now. It's almost to full maturity. Uh, so I'll have a video out on that soon. I'm also going to do a video on this, on this lettuce that I'm growing over to my left here that you can't see either. Uh, it's the best tasting, worst growing lettuce I've ever done, and it's called a Pablo lettuce. Um, so keep an eye out for those two. And then once my tomato plants here start um, are ready for harvest, I'll do a video on those two. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Boom.